Welcome back my people and this is Isrox Movie Reviews and we're gonna be finishing up even though we have a few more movies to go and we have a movie I think coming out next in the next couple years um, regarding this franchise which is Die Hard and today we're gonna be reviewing Die Hard with a Vengeance the third film in this franchise and it's very rare for the first three films in a franchise to be consistently excellent and that's what these first three movies were but that's the case with the Die Hard series in general. Uh, Bruce Willis knocks it out the park. The villains in these movies, uh, Rickman, Sandler, and this movie, Jeremy Irons, knock it out the park. Uh, this film includes uh, an addition, which is Samuel L. Jackson, uh, who's amazing. He's an amazing actor, and he was definitely uh, not just a throw in this movie, he was a great addition. Uh, the first one was an action movie masterpiece and hugely influential to this day. Um, the second one is disliked by some. For some reason, I don't know, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, but I think it's very near the equal to the first movie would be this one. Um, uh, does a tricky job of being the same but different at the same time. And this is the third, so it's a delight. Um, an action comedy masterpiece that wreaks havoc throughout New York. Um, having the action move out of a single location and into the entire city was a complete shift change compared to the other movies. The first one in the Los Angeles building, the second one in the airport. Uh, and this one is all over New York City. Um, and I think that was a genius idea. Uh, the director, John McTiernan, is at the top of his game in this movie, filling his movie with an incredible sense of drive and momentum that there's not a single moment where it's not funny or not action or both. Um, this movie's thrilling, suspenseful because this bad guy puts you through a loop. Uh, the villain in this movie <laughs> is, us, is out this world. Uh, Bruce Willis, to me, has never been better. Um, and his partner in this movie is Samuel L. Jackson also gives one of the best turns of his career, I feel. Um, and they work incredibly well together. Um, Jerry Me Irons, like I mentioned before, has a ball as the bad guy. And he has a thing where he likes to play Simon Says. He has that game. And it's very well staged, you know? It's, it's not cheesy or campy or any, any way. It's, it really gets you into the movie. It's very suspenseful and kind of scary at times. Uh, plus you get all of the violence, you get all the fights, the car chases, the uh, the shootouts, and clever situations that could, that you should hope for in any action film. Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance truly is one of the best action films uh, ever made. They don't make movies like this no more, sincerely. Um, and this is the kind of film that you could sit through and watch it over and over again. and. There are very few of those around. Um, and just to give you a little synopsis of uh, the movie, um, you know, John McClane is, he, he fell on hard times. You know, there's a bomber that's demanding John McClane to play a game, and the NYPD records him back to work after, you know, missing, because, you know, he's going through it, alcoholic now. In one game, he's helped by a good Samaritan, which is played by Samuel L. Jackson. He plays a man named Zeus, and the two go off on a high-intensity scavenger uh, fact throughout the movie. The fact that he's called in by the name means that one of the... It veers off the formula from the, the start. Um, the first two had him alone in the wrong place at the wrong time, surprising the bad guys also. Uh, this one is a, a demanding must watch um and i love it i love it they threw kind of throughout the first uh different formulas of action films and they kind of made their own uh genre in this movie when it comes to the, the way uh the action film in general was um portrayed in this movie you know and you had at that time you had some great movies you know, not only the Die Hard franchise, the Lethal Weapon franchise, you had the Terminator franchise on top around the same time. And this movie definitely knocks it out the park, man. And 
this movie I give nine out of 10. It's right there. Matter of fact, I give this movie a nine and a half out of 10 because it's part two. In my humble opinion, it was awesome also. And I gave that a nine out of a 10. But this one, I give it nine and a half out of 10. It's right up there with the original in my point of view. And you gotta go check this out if you haven't already. If you haven't, where you been? <laughs> so go check this out. And uh, let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the next one. Peace.